Our bees are under some fairly critical threat globally. That comes about because we have a, a varroa mite. The varroa mite is a parasitic mite that attaches itself to the back of particularly the, of the European honeybee. We're the only continent left on the globe that doesn't have it. Aquas and CSIRO, Aquas working very, very difficult uh, uh, under circumstances on our borders, keeping anything out that's bee related um, and checking stuff that may contain swarms or larvae or whatever. And of course, um, you know, so far so good. It equates to 87% of what we eat here in Australia, including our meat because what our meat eat are pollinated by the bees. Catastrophic sort of situation if we, if we don't do something about this. In the highlands of China they're already teaching kids that are able, old enough to climb trees to pollinate the trees already because there are no pollinators there at all. We've got to change what we're doing. Yes. It's really through education. Stop using chemical fertilisers and sprays and so on. Companion plant. Get, get your ecosystem right where you don't have to worry about spray because you're attracting in the pollinators and the predators and the compost. Increase the yields that you get off your fruit and veg. You should be at any rate planting lots of, um, of bee attracting plants. In suburban Melbourne, uh, you're allowed up to two beehives in the backyard. Right. You must become a registered uh, apiarist and you do that through the Department of Primary Industries website. People my name and, and um, uh, Craig Castry, the, the, the website's ediblegarden.webs.com.